Hello everyone. Today we are going to take a look at the common drain configured amplifier using a MOSFET transistor and uh, we're going to do a small signal analysis and show you step by step how to solve for the voltage gain, the output resistance, and the input resistance. So this is a common drain configuration. As you can see, the input is connected to the gate, the output connected to the source, and because the drain is common to the input and the output, we name it common drain. So the first step to solve for a small signal voltage gain is always draw a small signal model of the circuit. GM, R0 resistor, and uh, this is the source. There is a R sub S resistor connected, and also the output voltage is right here. So, as we mentioned before, in the small signal analysis, we would like to short the voltage supply, the VDD to the ground and uh, this is the VIN. So now let's take a look at the, the circuit and see if we can find any uh, current relationships. So we know from the KCL that the current flowing into this node should be equal to the current flowing out of this node. So for the current flowing into this node, I think I missed something here. So the current here is GM times VGS. And I'm going to use green represent for the current flowing in. So the GM times VGS plus 0 minus V out over R0. That is this current flowing through this R0 resistor. Should be equal to, gonna use red representing for the current flowing out. V out over RS. And uh, from the circuit, we also know that VGS is the voltage potential difference between the V input and the V output. Let's combine these two relations. GM times V in minus V out minus V out over R0 equals to V out over RS. And uh, if we massage this equation a little bit, so let me actually. Hmm. How do I get the full equation? Yeah. To the next page. Okay. So if we massage this equation a little bit, we can rewrite it as GM times V in minus GM times V out minus V out over R0 equals V out over RS. Let's move the V out to the right side of the equal sign and keep V in on the left of the equal sign. V out GM plus 1 over R0 plus 1 over RS. 
and uh, here we have v out over v in equals to gm divided by gm plus 1 over r naught plus 1 over rs. So we can further massage this equation. We know that um, for a resistor R0 and RS, if they're in parallel configuration, this can be written as R0 times RS over R0 plus RS. That would be equal to 1 over 1 over RS plus 1 over R0. So 1 over Rs plus 1 over R0 equals to 1 over R0 in parallel with Rs, which is precisely this term here. So this can be rewritten as Gm over Gm plus 1 over R0 in parallel with Rs equals to 1 over 1 plus 1 over Gm times R0 in parallel with Rs. Now the Gm represents the amplification capability of the MOSFET transistor. So if the Gm times R0 in parallel with Rs is large, then this term goes to zero. So what that means is the gain, the voltage gain is, can be approximated as 1 over 1 plus 0. That would be a unity gain. In fact, this relationship, this is not an unreasonable assumption because GM represents for the amplification. It's supposed to be large. R0 is large and RS is large. So GM, a large quantity times a large quantity, it's not unreasonable to assume that it is large. So what this tells us is that uh, in a common drain configuration, the ratio of the output voltage and the input voltage uh, is 1. Um, this circuit, this is why we call it a source follower transistor uh, configuration. It, it can be used uh, as a, a voltage buffer, buffer that provides a unity gain in circuit design. So this is our A sub V. We box it. Okay. So So now let's take a look at the R out. draw this. Now we want to solve for the R out. So one thing to note that the R out is looking into the source terminal so it has nothing to do with the RS. RS is external to where we're looking into the transistor so we can completely ignore the RS. In the small signal model again VGS This is GM times VGS. And uh, here, since the RS doesn't exist, we can simply use an open circuit here. We, we don't really care about the RS. R0. And uh, the V out is still here. VDD goes to the ground and V in goes to the ground. So here what we do is that we apply the 
technique of adding a test source, let's call it V sub x. The test source is responsible for a current generated here, let's call it I sub x. So the R out is really... So in order to solve for R out, we just need to find the ratio between Vx and Ix. Now let's take a look at the circuit. Let's assume that uh, all these three currents are flowing into the same node. So according to the KCL, Gm times Vgs plus 0 minus V out over R naught plus Ix equals to 0. We also know that since the V in is connected to the ground, so this point is 0 volts, the difference between this node and this node is VGS. So we can say VGS equals to the 0 volts, which is the voltage at this node, minus the voltage at this node, which happens to be the V out, which also happens to be the VX. So that equals to minus Vx. And also we know that V out equals to Vx. Now let's try to solve these three equations. Gm times substitute Vgs with minus Vx that we just found. Minus Vx over R0 plus Ix equals to 0. Ix equals to Vx 1 over R0 plus Gm. So moving to the right, R out equals Vx over Ix equals to 1 over gm plus 1 over r naught. Since we know that r naught is large, this term goes away. So r out is approximately 1 over gm. We know gm is somewhat large, so 1 over gm is somewhat small. So I'm going to just say it's small-ish. Moving on to the next page. Now the last step we would like to solve for the input resistance. We can apply the same technique to add a test source, but this time at the input, which generates a, a test current called I sub x. We know that I sub x is zero because that is the only current flow in, in or out of this node. So we know it's zero, which makes the R in simple over Ix. Ix goes to zero, so this whole value goes to infinity. So this is the input resistance. So let's summarize. So the voltage gain equals to approximately 1. 
the output resistance equals to approximately equals to 1 over GM. And the input resistance is large. So we can use the common drain configured MOSFET as a source follower where it yields uh, unity gain, unity voltage gain. It has a um, small-ish output resistance and it has a very large input resistance. Thank you very much for watching.